All right, guys, let's go over patio slider wheels. Now there's about a dozen common varieties. This is the slider that I just took out. If you don't know to take it out, you just pick up on it from both sides and hopefully it goes up far enough that you can just pull the bottom out. Sometimes you have to play with them and adjust the wheels that are in there or even cut them off if they're too broken, but you pick up to the top and then you pull the bottom out and slide it from the channel. Now here's the door. Uh, as you can see, I've pulled this edge off here and all that requires is just this one screw that goes into here. So I've pulled the edge of the door frame out. Here's the style of wheel that we have. Now this wheel, you see those tabs sticking off each side? Those are gonna lock into that hole that's on each side. So when you're ready to install these, all you gotta do is line it up right so everything's pointed where it needs to point. And then you push the wheel in, you pop it in there. <clears throat> now I am going to play with these tabs after I turn the video off. It does, it's not an absolute perfect system, but I'm gonna play with the tabs, make sure it's locked in place. Then I'm gonna take this trim right here and I'm gonna make sure that's on all the way. I'm gonna pull this frame piece back over. I'm gonna use this screw to put that frame piece in. And then, if you can see right here, see the, so the hole that you're seeing to the right, that's for the frame to attach. And then to the left, you see that screw, that is the screw that you turn to the right or left. And when you do, it's going to raise or lower Come on, focus now. It's going to raise or lower that wheel in and out of the track so that you can adjust the door. And it's that simple. Like I said, there are about a dozen varieties. I can't show you all of them today, but here's one example of a type of patio door roller replacement.